Hi YouTube. Happy 2015 again. This is going to be sort of a project pan video or some videos that I want to use up or hit pan on in 2015. Um, I'm going to do a quick face of the day because I don't do those and I did one and didn't record it before so this is going to be all included into this one. Um, today I wanted to play around with my chocolate bar, I mean semi-sweet chocolate bar palette and I did a video on it. It looks like this here and I really wanted to use this blue, the blueberry swirl. So I am going to zoom in. Can I go down any further? Uh, let's zoom out a little bit and I will show you my eyeshadow. And then um, put my glasses back on. I will zoom out and tell you the colors that I used on my face today. And um, I started out, actually what I did was prime my lids with that. I tried out a sample of the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. Um, and I think I like that, but I want to try it a few more times before I actually think about buying it. Um, and then I put painterly paint pot on as a base um, in my crease as a transition color. I use this color here, which is mousse. And um, then I think to darken it up a little bit. No, what I did was I put mousse on first. Then I went into the outer V with hot fudge and sort of defined the outer V a little bit. Then to give it a little bit more um, color and interest if you ask me, I put truffle in the crease also sort of to blend out the hot fudge. Um, on the lid, I used the blueberry swirl. In my um, crease, I used a single from, let's see if I can find it, one second, um, from the rock. I used a crease in the, I mean, um, a single in the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. And this is in the color shell. And I think I got this back in November sometime, I think September, maybe last year. So um, those are the shadows that I used. And I forgot one also on my brow bone I used coconut cream which is a matte color the butter pecan is a satin coconut cream is a matte um, mascara on the lower lashes I used lash discovery on my upper lashes I used my Mally volumizing um, <clears throat> I also forgot to say that of course I use my E Cosmetics Black Brown the No Tug Eyeliner in the um, waterline. Then I smudged out a little bit with this and then put a little bit of this on the lower lash line too. So that completes the eyes and this is why I don't do these things because I get all fumbled around. But um, that completes the eyes. On the cheeks I used a Bare Minerals loose and my cheek colors never come up on camera um i used a bare minerals just a loose powder um, blush in the color bloom let's see if you can see this and this was actually part of a um auto delivery from last year i think this was the last one and this is the color bloom. Let's see if I can show it to you a little better on the inside. I don't think so. Yeah, you can see the color a little bit better here. I use that on my cheeks. Um, seeing them backwards again. One second. Okay, so before the cheek color, um, as a primer on my face I used I have a sample of the Laura Mercier foundation primer in radiance so I use that 
um, as a foundation I use the Tarte B Beyond BB Perfecting Liquid Foundation and I have this in the color Deep. Um, I set the foundation with a um, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, the Hydrating Perfecting Mineral Veil. I think it's like one of the BB Mineral Veils. Um, so I use that to set everything. Then I use the bloom on my cheeks. Um, I went back and this is something that I hardly ever do. And I used um, sort of a very light contour just right here. I didn't do it up here. And believe it or not, and this is one of my um, Use It Up in 2015 products. I used the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. And this is in the color Turks and Caicos. So I use this here. And then I use this, I guess, which is supposed to be the blush. as sort of a light, sort of highlight color. Um, and then on my lips, as a liner, I used... Max Chestnut and to sort of keep it neutral because the eyes have a lot going on for me anyway I used a NARS Audacious lipstick and yes I did buy one of these for my birthday and I got it in the color Anna so this is Anna I think Anna is really pretty and neutral and that is my face of the day and that took a long time and that is not even what the video is about the video is about items that I want to go ahead and fin uh, finish up or hit pan on in 2015. And the first thing I am almost empty on and I did order a backup of. And this is the MAC Fix Plus. This is the old packaging. Um, it is now the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Same product, just different. They, they call it something different now. So I want to go ahead and finish that little bit up. And I've been using this to sort of wet my brushes and things like that. And still sometimes to spray my face. Um, that is that. Why do I have this brush? I use that brush on my highlight. It's just laying there. Um, like I said before, I have I have several face products. But the one I just showed you is the e.l.f. Elf Contour M. Contour Blush and Bronzer in Turks and Caicos. And I really like that. It's not like a harsh. Because I don't think I need to contour much anyway. So that one I like. And I want to get some use out of. Um, to use probably mostly as a uh, substitution for a concealer. I have a little bit of this um, Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Warm Almond. I have that much left of it, so I want to go ahead and finish that. Um, and I have another one of these. I've been having those for a while, so I need to hurry up and get into those. Um, like I was saying before, primer. I have two that I want to use up. I want to go ahead and use up this Laura Mercier primer, found foundation primer in Radiance. And I want to use up this um, Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So I'm going to concentrate on those more than my other primers. For eye primer, I want to go ahead and use up the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. And then once I finish this up and I see how I like the Urban Decay Prime, the anti-aging primer, I will probably purchase the anti-aging primer. Um, I have another concealer here. And this is the Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. And I have it in the color level 11. And it looks like this. And this will not so much be an under eye primer because we know I use the Bare Minerals under eye brightener. Um, this will be sort of around here where I have redness and right here where I have some darkness that I'll use these. And I mix the two together. I use this today on my face. I have a powder foundation that I want to use up. And this was in my basket last year which was a complete fail. And 
we're going to do it again. We're going to get it done this year. This is the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation in the color Golden Deep. And I do have a serious dent in here. So it shouldn't be too long before I actually hit pan on it. But I do want to get some use out of that. Um, I have three more face products that I at least want to put a dent in. Um, one I have a dent in and it's like broken and it was in my use it up for 2014 but I didn't use it up. And this is the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. So you can see it doesn't have that little hump on it no more. So I have gotten use out of it and this is the old packaging and it is broken. And before I buy a new one I need to use that one up. Um, I have two highlights in here. One is a cream and one is a powder. Um, the powder is the Balm's Mary Luminizer. And that looks like that. And then I have a cream highlighter from It Cosmetics. And this is the Hello Light Cream Illuminator. And it looks like a cream version of the... Mary Luminizer, does it? Do they look like the same color? Mary Luminizer may be a little bit more golden. Yeah, so those are the two highlights I have in my basket of Use It Up in 2015. Um, I do have another concealer that I want to go ahead and just finish up. And this one will be used up under my eyes. And this is the L'Oreal True Match. Um, super blendable crayon concealer and I have it in in six seven eights and I have that much left so I want to go ahead and finish this and I am going to try not to overwhelm myself with things in this basket like I did last year a lip balm and I get these all the time. I mean, this is this is not hard for me to use up. And this is the I'm sorry, Nivea, um, a kiss of milk and honey lip balm. I have a set of um, cream eyeliners that I have had for a while, and it's this. This is the Physicians Former Physicians Formula shimmer strips which I don't even know if they make these anymore but they come like this and this is the one for brown eyes and I have used this quite a bit but this is the brown color here let's see if we can zoom in then. so yeah this is the brown and you can see it has quite a dent in it and sorry they sort of stack and then this is the purple and then the one that has gotten the most use and believe it or not this is still creamy this is the black this is like my favorite cream eyeliner as you can tell um so yes I want to try and use this up um, and I kind of even like this one better than the one I got from Tarte because the one I got from Tarte, I like it, but the black, once you put it on your brush, it seems more like a liquid found, I mean, a liquid eyeliner than a cream eyeliner. And then, oh, I have a brow gel from Mally. And I need to use that. And then the last thing I definitely want to go ahead and hit pan on because it is very well used is my naked palette the original and when I say original like I got this when they still had the double-sided pencil in it um I am very close to hitting pan on half baked um smog and dark horse are very well used buck is very well used but I want to go ahead and hit pan on it I like it a lot and I always put it in the drawer and use other things but at, in, to some degree, this is going to go mixing with other shadows or something so I can get that used. So I can feel accomplished that I hit pan on one of my palettes. Except the Sonia Cash one because I hit pan on that one. Anyway, 
that is it you all um i will probably not do like monthly updates it will probably probably be quarterly so the next video to update you on how i'm doing with all these things will be in march this is maybe april march we'll do it in march that was like a brain freeze or something but um the next update will be on march to see how i am doing with all these things thank you all so much for watching have a good day bye